All right, guys. Welcome back to part six. I believe it is part six of the boat restoration video. Um, today we're going to be trying to do some rewiring. Cause this stuff spliced in all kinds of weird places. Um, <laughs> do some rewiring. Finish getting the bolt bolted together. Honestly, there's only about two or three bolts we have left to even put in, so it's nothing too too big. Uh, rewire and maybe a couple other things. So yeah, let's go ahead and start it. wiring update here so basically the only thing that's really wiring besides that which is already fixed this is already like a fixed cable we fixed that part three or part four it was just broken we fixed it um, but this is this was wired under inside of the console uh, apparently fixed before uh, we'll probably do something else there but these two wires are the ones that run back here and come up out of the floor and connect sorry and connect directly to the battery this is our 12 volt feed for our lights. We're gonna have two lights up front that are, we actually have to have these if we're gonna be driving this boat at night. So we have this light, which goes on this side, and then we have another, we have a red one that goes over there. And then there will be one on the bimini. So, currently, these two right here that you can see coming through, these two right here go to the bimini. You can see those are those two wires coming out of the bottom of the railing. Um, which I hope I can pull more than that. Maybe if I feed it, it'll pull more. But anyway, that's going to be these two right here. Yeah. It's going to be these two right here. You can see it coming out up there. These two right here go to the front, and then those wire in series and come back here. So they wire together, and then they have one feed that comes back here and ties into your uh, hot right there. So uh, we want to put these on two separate switches. So these will be on two separate switches. We can turn on the bimini one if we want to, or the front ones if we want to. And uh, that's just gonna be our power feed. Um, I don't know if we're doing a radio in this boat yet. All right guys, so I've cleaned this lens up on these lights a little bit, they were dirty before. Cleaned them off a little bit. Um, and I've cleaned up the whole thing. I took it, I took the whole thing apart, took a look at it. One of our bulbs is blown, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and mount these lights anyway. We may not get around to getting wires ran to them and all that today. But uh, honestly, that's okay. I'm not super worried about that right this minute. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get these mounted. They're going to sit just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put our screws in it and get our lights completely mounted and all in place. There is a life I lead in the city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Oh, oh, oh. Back where I I want it all. I have to let the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. So, now got this. So it's kind of like that. And we may swap these out later, we're not sure. But, um, yeah, you can see our wires are stubbed out down here. They are kind of short. Hopefully, we'll be able to work with them relatively easily. We can probably set up a soldering table right here and solder these up pretty good. Um, but we're, before we even do any wiring, permanent wiring, we're going to make sure that these are the lights we're going to use. If not, you know. Ah, I figured out what happened and I was afraid of that. It probably hit that metal, it probably hit that aluminum and the screw kicked back to avoid it. So that's what I figured might happen. I was afraid of that. There we go. I moved it back just a hair. So now it's just like, that's because this is pulled down. I honestly need to loosen that up and try to pry that back up. That was my bad. Tying it down with an impact. So uh, anyway, but yeah, this is a little cockeyed it looks like. Not 100% sure why that is. Huh. Take me back I'll be right back. There we go. That's like perfect. Okay, 
That's how we're gonna do the other side. We have a red one here and a green one there. We'll be together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. looking good. I think something got messed up on it. It's not mounted quite right, but that's okay. We'll do it all later. Um, now, we're going to be coming back here, cleaning these up, cleaning up these pontoons. I'm going to show you a trick for that. Cleaning up these things and getting them mounted. So, should be good after that. So, instead of putting these on today, because I want to really want to clean them up and I don't have the right cleaner for that, so we're going to be waiting on that. Um, what we're going to be doing instead is going from this little wire right here to this um, this is number eight copper we're gonna be pulling this from there to then just stubbing it out right here for right now until we get a console in we're not gonna be drilling any holes making anything final until we figure out exactly where the console is going and all that so we're gonna be running it stubbing it out right here and then we'll be good to go all right so back here we currently have these two sticking out this was the original these went straight to the battery as you can see, they're terminated and all that. We're not even messing with that. We're going to be drilling a much bigger hole because that one's way too small. Um, and then we're going to be pulling wire into here. And then we'll have our battery here. Those will go up there. There'll be a fuse block. A bunch of stuff that's happening later on. We're not worried about it right now. But anyways, for now, we're going to be pulling this wire. So I'm going to go get my drill bit, drill this out, and then we're going to be pulling the wire. We got it taped up right there. We got a hole drilled, our wire cut back through. Now we're going to attempt to pull that in. volt battery feed because that's where the battery goes they come through that grommet and they're good there's going to be a seat right here that all that sits under that's going to be our 12 volt battery feed and it's rolled up under there right now the very last thing that i want to do in this video is finish out these two bolts right here it won't take us more than a couple minutes literally drill them out pop in a bolt another few bottom we're good to go Alright guys, I'm tired, but the boat is 
to where I want it to be. We've got new wiring, some lights, rails are on. They're finished. Rails are finished. Honestly, that, that took a couple days just by itself to get the rails where they needed to be. A lot of adjusting. Um, but anyways, everything is back to the way that it needs to be. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can get a notification every time I upload a video. It's great. It's going to help me, and it's going to help you. So, anyways, with that being said, I will see you next week.